Hi, my name is Rebecca, and today I'm going to show you how to make a more customized looking watermark using Picasa. Uh, for those of you who watched my last video or have used the program before, you probably know that when you go to the export option in Picasa, there is an option here to add a watermark. However, let's just add some plain text to the bottom right corner, and it's not very fancy. I like to do something a bit more uh, professional looking and customized. So let's just get right to it. That's what we're going to be making today, just this little text-based watermark. And I'm going to show you how to do that entirely in Picasa. The inspiration for my watermark personally came from my logo. I just wanted to use the same font and you know put a basic watermark on there that says my shop's name, what they're looking at, and where they can find more information. Uh, so the way I did this in Picasa is by going to the text option, which you'll see right here. When you click on that, it automatically says type anywhere to add text. So you can literally click anywhere on this image and begin adding in the text you want. So I want my shop name first and foremost. And if I wanted to, I could drag this around anywhere on the image. I could put it here in the middle. I can make it bigger. I can, you know, Tilt it around. I can, I can do a lot of things with this tool. But again, for today, I just kind of want it to be a, a very basic text image so people know, okay, who am I? What am I providing? How they can find more information. And now that I've got this text positioned and where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and create the look I want. First thing I want to change is change this so the text is in the font that matches my logo. So I'm gonna come into the fonts menu here. And my font that I use for my logo happens to be Sacramento. It's a custom font I have installed, but this is how you would select it. You can change the size if you want. I'm gonna leave mine at 30. Now this black in my logo kind of really draws your eye. It's very dark against this white background. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the transparency down a little bit. This makes it a little bit more see-through. Gives it more of a gray look. And if you were to put this on top of, say, one of these shells, you see it kind of creates a, a transparent or see-through effect on those shells. So um, just so you know, it's, it's a useful tool to have. All right, so now I've got it back down in the bottom corner. Uh, time to add in some more text, because if you remember in this other logo, I had put in art by, and then my website. So I'm going to add in that now. And I'm just going to do the same steps, basically, again. When I click to add text, and this time I don't want it in that fancy script. I want something a bit more plain so that you're really drawn to my logo and you can make this other text more legible. So I'm going to go to this Aldabi. I'm going to do size 20 in this case. I'm going to add in that text that says Art By. And I'm just going to drag it down so that it fits really nicely in between the A and the D on my logo. And now I'm going to add in my website. All right. And right now it's a bit bigger than my logo itself. So I'm going to make it just a tiny bit smaller just because I like the look a little bit better. It makes it look more balanced in my opinion. All right. And there we go. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the text basically saves it to your image. And then as with all images in Picasso, in order to save it, you still have to export it. Make sure you don't check this box, otherwise you're going to have two watermarks on your image. Export it. And here we go. Looks pretty nice. A few closing notes for you guys. Be careful when you're typing. Picasa does not have a spell checker, so <laughs> you don't want to mistype your website or your uh, shop name or anything, obviously. Um, a couple other things to add. You cannot actually copy and paste this entire text, so you do have to recreate this each time on each logo. Let me just show you, for example. Um, if I were to click on this box and do Control C or Command C on a Mac, that copies this piece of text, but it's only going to copy one piece at a time. So I've copied that, and now I'm going to go back into my photo library and say, pick another one of these images here. 
obviously this is just a work in progress image, which we're not going to use, but um, anyway, in order to paste this onto a new image, I'd have to go back into text and now do control V or command V if you're on a Mac. And you see it pasted this in here, but it, it didn't really keep my logo. So I might have to recreate certain parts of this again. So what I would recommend doing is if you're going to um, be using this method to create watermarks, remember what you use, what fonts you use, um, what sizes you use. I wrote down in a notebook basically which fonts I used for each one of these uh, different logos. That can be actually really helpful. Another thing that I don't personally use, but I've read is very useful, is using the Wingdings fonts to add special um, elements to your watermarks. Now, again, I don't personally use it, but you could definitely say use these little characters here to add a little bit of spice. Say something like this. And then we're gonna have to come back in and, you know, obviously change fonts. Drag this up. So you can see how you've just created a much fancier watermark just using plain text and transparency settings. Um, if I have time, I'll show you one more quick thing. Uh, as you notice on this one, we just did it in black, but sometimes that's not gonna work really well for your images. Sometimes you might need something a bit brighter. Um, let me just show you with a dog image here. <laughs> I haven't really had a chance to edit this one, but again, we're just showing watermarks today. so. Here's a sneak peek. <laughs> All right, so again, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm changing the color. I'm changing the color to white when I add my text. And I'm gonna up the transparency. Before we had this transparency really low, and you can see, you know, that kind of lays the text on top of your image, but when you have white, it's really hard to see your logo that way. So when I'm putting white on an image like this, I usually make it more like 75 to 80% transparency, just you know, pushing this bar closer to the right. And then it's just the same process. You type in your text, choose your fonts. I can find it in my list here. There we go. put it back the exact same way. Again, I know mine. <laughs> I'll use Sacramento 30. And then back to the top of the list. All to be 20. Add this down. And I just adjust this one back down to 16 to make it smaller. And apply your text. There you go. Same thing in white, but you can see here it's a bit stronger. It's not as uh, clear because we need it to show up on this dark background. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys enjoy it and are able to create your own nice fancy watermarks.